Hey, I'm just gonna show you how to use your iPad and Premiere Clip and edit voiceover using a Mac computer and iTunes in a bit of a workaround way to do something that might not seem very obvious if you work with Premiere Clip, but it's actually very straightforward. Okay, let's get started. Uh, I think it's a pretty amazing app. Uh, iOS, as you can see here, but also works on Android. It's free and it focuses on very much the things you need to do with digital storytelling. So it doesn't have all the glitter and it doesn't have all the effects, but if you create a short edit for a digital story that goes online, a mini documentary, a making of video, a social media video, that sort of stuff, I think it's pretty amazing. One of the apps that we looked at in the workshop was pretty cool is Voice Recorder Free, but I just realized they changed their subscription plan from unlimited free recordings to record for one minute. I can see on the top, a pretty straightforward interface, but if you want to do anything longer than one minute, it might not be the best. So let's check out another one, uh, Voice Recorder. And very similar interface. Start recording on the top right and press stop. This is a test voiceover for the 60 plus online workshop. If you press play, it plays it back, or well, then you get heaps of other options to integrate it directly with some social media, do some changes to it. But I think the easiest thing for us to do is if you've got set up the email on your iPad, it's just email it yourself. So you'll send by email, press audio. Yeah, just email attachment is fine. Pop my email in here. And there is it. All right. So let's get out of this one. And grab my audio clip. I'm just gonna save that to the desktop. And here's my audio clip. Maybe give it a better name so that I really know what this is about. S for digital story, and then I need to pop this into my iTunes. And choose get music. I'll select it here. And there it shows up. So all I need to do now is go back to my Premiere clip and import the voice over digital story. So now we just get to back to Premiere Clip. And I remember a couple of different videos we looked at. There was the one, it's the introduction with the storyboard templates. We did the shopping list and the storyboarding, the actual workshops. And there was the one that I did the introduction of myself and the digital story. Recently I've been to Sydney and I used Premiere Clip to edit a great trip to a conference. You can see here. I read it for this one, I edited some music and that used all the functionalities to sync the edit to the music and some nice fading. But for our purposes, I'm just gonna go back to the story that I had. There was the music with it, of course. So I'm gonna change that now to the voiceover that we can just get from our iTunes. As long as your phone, your iPad, sorry, is still connected to your Mac. Uh, change the title here, just remember. So this one will replace the soundtrack that I had before and go to songs. And there is my voiceover for digital stories. You can play it or just press add on the top right. And so it took me a while before it kicked in. So I wanna start it, there's an M, don't wanna start at the M. Started at three seconds, right? That's where I'll kick it off. Um, I don't need the fading functionality for this one. The fade out might be nah, I don't need that really. And yeah, all I need to do now is 
press replace because had some music there before. Otherwise, you could just put press add. From your clip file, and now you can take it to wherever you want, to your camera roll or export it straight away to YouTube, Twitter, uh, Creative Cloud. All right, and that's it. So just a quick demo that it's working. Remember, if you press the top right button. This is a test voiceover for the 60 plus online workshop. And you would then narrate your voiceover at that time. You see the recording functionality on the top. Gives you some. That all works fine for you and you enjoyed it. Uh, looking forward to see your projects. Um, if you make more films, submit them to Mina and also keep an eye out for more workshops of Mina, the Mobile Innovation Network Australasia. Alright, see you!